Hi, my name is Matthew. So can you imagine two balloons kissing each other? Let me show you how. Do you know why this happens? Let me explain the science behind the kissing effect of these two balloons. So, as you should already know, air is present all around us, so atmospheric pressure is acting on the balloons equally in all directions, so the balloons do not move. When the air between the balloons was blown away, the atmospheric pressure at that point was reduced. Since the atmospheric pressure on the outside of the balloons is now larger than on the inside, the balloons were pushed inwards towards each other. Now you know how to make two balloons kiss. Hi, my name is Ian. And my name is Marcio. Would you agree on sleeping on the tip of a pin? Let us show you what it feels like using a balloon. When the balloon was placed on the tip of the pin, it popped because the force was concentrated on just a single point, the tip of the pin, which has a very small area. So, the pressure on the balloon was very large. What do you say now? Would you sleep on the tip of a pin? What about a whole bed of pins? Would you consider yourself sleeping on the tip of a bunch of pins? Let us see. The balloon has not broke. I guess it would be comfortable sleeping on a whole lot of these tips. How come? When the balloon was spread on the tip of the pins, the force made was spread out all over the different points, touching the balloon. The contact area was increased. So the resulting pressure on the balloon has become smaller, resulting in a comfortable bed. Or still not. And my name is Clay. Can you imagine a balloon crushing a plastic water bottle? No? What's this demonstration? So, all you need is one large plastic bottle with the old rig at the bottom of it. Just insert the bottle and attach it to the bottle. The hole is left open and creating blue air in the balloon. It expanded, as expected. Do you know why? This is because air from inside the bottle is forced to escape through the hole, leaving enough space for the balloon to expand. When Clayton closed the hole and tried to blow up the balloon, he just couldn't. This is because the air inside the bottle is pressurized and is taking up the space. It has nowhere to go due to the hole being closed, so he won't be able to blow up the balloon. As you noticed, the bottle was crashed. This happened because as Craig closed the bellow, air from inside the bottle was forced out. When Craig closed the hole and stopped blowing the bellow, the atmospheric pressure inside the bottle decreased, resulting in a greater atmospheric pressure outside the bottle. This higher pressure on the outside managed to crash the bottle. This is you and far, and we should all burn together.